snow cap. Did he say what this one was, Larry? Is this a five? This is a eight passenger, didn't he say? I don't remember what he was saying about that. Now, right now, it's raining. On January 8th, 1993. Uh, in Grants, New Mexico. Audio on here, too, huh? Yeah. We're headed for La Mosca Peak. Now we've lost the rain a little bit. Looks a little more like snow now. As a matter of fact, I'm fairly sure it is snow now. Aren't you, Larry? <laughs> pretty sure. <laughs> Only yeah. pretty sure, huh? Pretty this, sure. This is our navigator. No, no, not a navigator. Pilot, this is a pilot. Yeah. <laughs> Temporarily. <laughs> this road gets any squirrely. We're going to put this thing so we can use the thing squirrely. We're hitting all these ruts in the truck ahead of us. Got his truck in a position where he can't get it up, can't get it down, can't go sideways. Well, he can go sideways, but not yeah. if he wants to. <laughs> so they're going to try to unload the cat right here. Then he says he can move his truck around with the snow cat. So I guess that's what we're going to do for a little while. What are there, waiting for? Can you believe that? We don't know where this jogger came from. But we've seen it all now. He just came running up behind us and passed us. He's got his jug of water. He's got a jug there. of water sitting right there. Now he's headed up another road. <laughs> can't believe this. I told him I've seen some jogging enthusiasts, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> there he goes. He's hitting now. Yeah. There you go. And I guess we're going to unload the tucker right where we are. No, stay here. Stay here. I don't want to get too far away, then I won't be able to see him. On. Can't see him through that. That looks good. Just want to photograph that. <laughs> Coming off. I think the wind came up all of a sudden. Yeah, that thing kind of impressive the way it comes yeah. out. I'll say that. Look at that thing. It's almost as bad as the ride I get in my bulldozer coming up. Oh, is that a rock? Yep. Well, he's going to move that rock, I think, with that little blade. That's what he's going to do. He's trying to do. Couldn't get a hold of it. No, gonna so he's going to go right over it. <laughs> That's, what That's a did. pretty good sized rock, too. Look at that. You getting this on film? Yes. <laughs> God, this thing's going right across that rock. They didn't walk this thing around. That's, That's a pretty that. powerful engine in that thing, too, then. Yeah, well, I'm impressed It looks already. like some kind of an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm kind of impressed with it a little bit. I just it saw almost it. almost looks like its feet are alive. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's drive shaft operated. I can see the drive shaft. Boy, it don't care where it wants to go. Yeah, look at that thing. Yeah, well, Look how that. flexible those wheels and are. And it's staying pretty much vertical, too, with oh, all yeah. that stuff going that way. That's, in, that, that, that's amazing to me. Look that is impressive. Isn't it? And we haven't even started the demo yet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> God, oh, honey. He was right. He did unload it, and now he'll probably pull that truck anywhere he wants to put it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I thought that cab was going to tip, but that cab nice. takes, I wonder if they got a gyro or something inside that thing to try to keep no. it. <laughs> no. No, it's just, the, those, those tracks are just real flexible. anywhere he wants to with that snow cat. The 
better get this camera out of the snow. <laughs> there you go. I'm surprised. I, I thought that there must be some, I don't know how much that snow cat weighs, but that weighs something to be able to push that truck like that. Not necessarily. Those, those, those tracks change pitch when they get down into the snow. You know, they're not straight down like the bulldozer ones. They're like at a 45 degree angle. They really cut right into the snow. Well, that was a good demo right there. Yeah. try to pull the truck backwards with the snow cat and get it over in there on that side road to park it I guess. Good grief that snow cat it hadn't spun a track it just no, it doesn't. pulling it like probably could drag that truck backwards even with the light brakes locked. <laughs> yeah we had to probably could. He's got the blade down in the front I wonder if he knows. Yeah he's glad. Yeah, he's plowing as he goes. Yeah. He's making a clear spot to put yeah, the truck. Yeah, they make it worse for himself for trying to pull the plowing at the same time as I pull the truck. Look at that pile of snow he's pushing out here. Oh. The truck has under power, they can see the wheels rolling. Spinning a little bit. Okay, I think you can probably pull up to that intersection now. We'll probably park right in front of his truck, back back in in front of it. Radio. radio, two radios. Yeah, they're still going. He is pushing a bit of snow with that blade, though. <laughs> can see with your camera. Oh yeah, I can see. Passenger, right? Yeah. Plenty of room in there. Now these seats come out with these quick releases. Uh huh. You got 113 cubic feet of cargo. Or you can take one seat out, use that for passengers, then off the cargo. Or with a five passenger. Got seat back to here, uh -huh. the bench seat back to there. So you take both of the rear seats out. Yeah. Okay. They come right out of there. Screwing up your tracks. Okay. Uh, anytime we see. Came up the of tracks. Well, some things you can't see, but as a rule, anything that's a hump in the snow is going to be either a stump, a rock, or something like that. We try to avoid them. As with any snow vehicle. You see how this blade functions? So you can go in any direction with that blade. Yeah. Wonderful. And uh, how much tilt can you get with that it? About that much. Yeah. You don't need very much. Yeah. You just have to level your gear. Right. It'll go both ways. And there's a function. Uh, there's flow valves right here. You can see the <laughs> knobs. Oh yeah. And you know how hydraulics are when you're going to work in hydraulics. If it's not fast enough for you, you can speed them up or you can slow them down. Oh. Any independent function. By, by those valves. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, if you wanted to move snow off your trail, you just kind of kick it like that, throw it off the edge. Angle it to the right, angle it down on the left, peel it right off. See, this cat don't even know it's pushing snow. It didn't even slow down. <laughs> Cummins diesel something. Oh, it's a Cummins diesel? Yeah. I was going to ask what brand, what model it was. It's the same engine as the Dodge pickup, 6BT. Uh huh. Turbo power. Oh, I just put the seat on. Yes. Notice how quiet it is in here? Uh huh. I know a lot quieter than it goes. 
All of your two tracks are low. <laughs> you gotta wear Oh really? Yeah, ear protection. You can't you can't hold a conversation <laughs> in them. See, all of them have the engine inside the cab. Uh-huh. Where is the engine on this one? It's not under right here. Oh, it's in the back? Yeah. Oh. You put the engine in the, in the rear for safety. Size. You don't get any fumes. You don't get any noise or engine heat. <laughs> About 13 miles an hour now, plowing snow at the same time. I wonder who came up here yesterday, Bruce. Somebody oh. been up here with four-wheel drive. These are the tracks for that guy who was coming out when we was getting ready to leave. Well, the car was already gone. I thought I could get That jogger was something yeah, else. I was just wondering about He had his water bottle stashed there in the corner and everything. Yeah, you should have seen the guy up here yesterday. He decided to take a side trip off Whoa. the edge of the road. <laughs> oh, that is a hole right there. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to try to hold the camera level with this thing. See, now right there are two tracks uh, in high center. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't have gone any farther. <laughs> well, that's a deep little hole right there. The only thing I worry about in stuff like this is the uh, culvert. Yeah. Just get one of the, one of the culverts. Now, if I'd have been in a two-track right then, I'd have been already decided, I know, i got to get out and get the shovel. Right. <laughs> well, you would have had to, because they've got a full belly pan on them. Uh-huh. That's a pretty steep little bank right there. Yeah, well, this one's a little bit heavy. Uh-huh. See, these tuckers are really, huh. really take you places. See, that pump right there would have stopped you. Yeah. Because it was a nice energy. Uh-huh. Well, at least at this it's point, good. we're still within walking distance of the track. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we're not going to walk. We're not going to walk. Well, there's a little bit of 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 a little That's one of the beauties about diving over those bar ditches, because you don't know how deep they are. Right. Well, these tracks are pretty Here's our jogger. He doesn't look like he's getting fatty. He's not in any hurry to go anywhere in the place. That same guy? Yeah, I got a same feeling he's, he's just saying, go ahead, find me. I don't have mine. <laughs> Turn it, angle it, dump it. 
that six way six and way I, control. And I gather this is an automatic transmission. Allison <laughs> automatic. <laughs> it's an Allison four speed. Allison? That's right. Uh -huh. Just like driving your pickup up through here and they're plowing snow doing it. I noticed a couple fill in slots in the back here look like there's some other type of control. Those are for rear hydraulics that the person had any use for. Oh, for like snow, the uh, ski areas. Yeah. Those uh, hydraulically controlled packers and stuff. You see how this does on a drift area? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Snow, yeah. That rolls that snow underneath that lower track and it picks that track up. So you're pulling the snow from the left side, putting it under the right track, and that keeps your vehicle level. Keeps you level and keeps packing that down, and that way, even if you get a real hard snowfall in a hard drift area, you can uh, you can feel a little bit more comfortable on it, and you're not going to have a real soft pocket over there because it's packing that down. Yeah, and we're still running a lot. You notice you can look out hour. and see the slope going this way. Yeah. But if you look at your inside of your cat, your cat's setting flat. Right. Ideally, when you start working a slope like this, you want your cat to be set just a little bit to the inside of the slope. Right. So we're cutting a little bit deep on the left side, on the uphill side, and transferring the snow underneath the right track. like an S turn. Looks like a I'm not sure where the road is. It looks to me, I would guess yeah. right there. I have to do a lot of this. Of course I know the road over there in Capia, but We're leaving behind us. 
barely wet snow. There's the engine back here. It's only sinking in about four to five inches, maybe six at the most. Seven miles. <laughs> so this is going to be my mail delivery route, to Elliot. Right. <laughs> Somehow I had a funny feeling when you saw this hill, you were going to go up it. <laughs> will throw it in. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hope Sorry, you heard Randy. that, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we are up here. I, I don't know. This is what he calls a horseshoe turn in the... pushing you up and then it just goes right down like that. Oh. We had a whole load of forestry guys in a gap one time and they wanted several of this. And we was doing circles around the competition with forestry personnel uh -huh. on a side slope and they just thought it was great. <laughs> 
das so zugeschickt haben. Ja. Closed all vehicles except snowmobiles on snow. Well, we just call this a big snowmobile. <laughs> snowmobile. <laughs> We just stepped out the side and the guy driving this thing went down about three and a half feet. So we decided we better walk where the tracks from the snowcat are. It's the only place packed enough to walk on it. We got about probably four foot of snow here. And this is the top of La Mosca. It says Mount Taylor Trail 77 and Water Canyon Trail 76 to the right. Cibola National Forest. We're on La Mosca and we just went up the side of that hill over there, if you can see it. Can't see much that way. I better shut her down. You want to pick it up. You don't want to push over. We have here a Larry Reich snowcat operator. Yeah, you want to fill the low spots, kind of just kind of build you a little road. See, now you're fighting the blade. Don't fight the blade. Get back up a little bit. Go ahead, back up. See, when you get to cranking that blade like that, it goes slower. Yeah. Just get the blade down more and more utility companies that are going to Tucker's because of the parts availability and the safety of them. Uh huh. That road sure looks a lot clearer than we when we were coming up here. This is where it was so windy. Right across the stage. So yeah. Now you can see what's going on ahead of us. Yeah, it's already drifted into places of it. I actually like that dog on hydraulic thing there. It makes a good guy following the track. You can look straight ahead and see how the point around with it. This thing is here. Yeah. The hydraulic uh, plunger there. You stopped and he almost dog. broke his right, camera yeah. on the windshield. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ellie, did you watch my driving this thing out from level road? Okay, and at this stage of the game, I got a head start on him. I thought I'd get a picture of it moving a little bit of snow coming down the hill. I'll tele telephoto up to it first. If I can keep it in focus. There we go. And that'll roll 12, 14 miles an hour doing that. actually scraping almost down to the dirt. There's only like four or five inches of snow here. And as you can see, there is dirt showing underneath those tracks. So that's not bad for plowing. And now we're going home. Bye.
Yeah. Say goodbye, Larry. Goodbye, Larry. <laughs>